Welcome to Wine and Wins. I'm your host, KP, a marine biologist with a passion for education and conservation. It's cold, it's raining, so please hit that like and subscribe button and head down to the descriptions below for ways that you can help support the channel. Previously, we took a deeper dive into why it is that animals play and why it's such a vitally important part of their lives. But physical activity isn't the only form of play. In fact, mental play is just as important, if not more so. It's also necessary that animals exercise their minds, just like humans when we learn a new language or do a crossword puzzle. In the wild, survival requires that an animal be very adept at problem solving, especially when foraging for food. But what about animals in zoos and aquariums? How do they get their mental stimulation? When we have animals under human care, we have an obligation to meet all of their needs. So we can simulate this mental enrichment for the animals by hiding their food. <laughs> See you later. Freezing it into blocks of ice so that they have to crack into it just like it were a clam or an oyster. The goal is to mimic natural behaviors and to keep their minds active and healthy. Another way that we can engage their minds is by teaching them new behaviors. <laughs> that was a twofer. Anyone who's learned a second language or learned another trade knows that learning new activities helps keep your mind very stimulated. Yeah, what I mean. High five. <laughs> Don't steal that. So when we teach an animal to do a behavior in a zoo or aquarium, it usually serves multiple purposes. And one of those is to stimulate the animal's minds. <laughs> Now, of course, normally we think of play as young animals playing. Young animals playing, young people playing, kids and puppies tend to play a lot. But play isn't just important for the young animals. It's vitally important for elderly animals as well. A sea otter down at the Oregon Zoo was actually taught how to take a basketball and dunk it in a hoop as a means of helping get that mental and physical exercise it needed to keep its joints nice and healthy. I want to say his name was Eddie. And he had like elbow arthritis. And so this is at the Oregon Zoo. And uh, so they taught him how to shoot hoops. This type of play and behavior helped that animal to live a longer, healthier, and more comfortable life. Play is a necessary activity for all of us, regardless of age. It helps our bodies, and it helps our minds, and it keeps us young at heart. We had planned to film some play happening at the beach today, but even on rainy days, it's important that you play. Stay home, pick up a board game, do a puzzle, learn a language. But before you forget, like and subscribe. <laughs> And head over to my Twitch channel, where we play games. You can find that link in the descriptions below. She's just collecting little pieces of
device and jamming them in her pocket. Oh, that's nice. 